What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. Welcome back for another cube draft. I'm not sure if we're doing a stip here. A lot of times I like to see if we can do the stip before we do the stip. I got a couple in the queue that I want to do. So we're trying to figure out which ones are going to work the best. Um, but first, I was asked, uh, my wife and I just finished another office watch through. Curious what the scene moment that still gets you emotional. The funny thing is, the ones that get me the most emotional are from like the last season. One of them, <clears throat> spoiler alert for anyone who hasn't seen The Office or wants to watch The Office, but you've had like 10 years. So I'm going to have my spoiler finger up while I'm talking about it, and when I put it down, you can watch again. That's the spoiler finger. So my first one <clears throat> is when Jim, when Pam, when, okay, Jim wants to take the job at Athlete, but um, he doesn't want to because Pam loves their life in Scranton. <clears throat> but... Jim's like that's fine I'll stay because you know I love you and you're 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 my everything right so um but Pam is worried that she's not enough and so Jim makes this like this 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 video montage of like the entire the entire show basically of like his efforts to like like th how much he loves her right and and then he says to her like not enough for me you are everything and I just lose it dude I lose it um and the other <laughs> my uncle had a spoiler <laughs> it's not okay the other moment <clears throat> hot take pam is the worst person on the show hot take that's incredibly offensive and you're wrong pam is wonderful um um my other the other moment is when okay so so the moment like the the whole last scene is just this the whole last season is just this like you finally realize that Dwight and Pam and Jim are all friends like they're all actually friends and like you know they're kind of discovering that or not discovering but it's really coming to fruition and like Dwight is <clears throat> the moment where Dwight's like do I get along with my coworkers well let's see Jim was the best man at my wedding and like Pam was my best friend you know and so he's like yes yes I get along with my coworkers and also when he's like he he goes to like the, like Jim and Pam go to tell him that they're leaving, and <clears throat> um, Dwight fires Jim and he's like, "Well, that's it, you're fired." And he's like, "Dwight, don't be like this." And he's like, "Shut up, I'm just trying to get you a severance package. The best I can do is like um, one month for every year you've been here or something." And I'm like, "Wow, it's just it's just this amazing moment where like Jim and Dwight like you just see this great like com camaraderie that's grown between them." over like the nine years of the show you know and it's just such a like it's getting me choked up now because i fucking love the office so much and i've watched the office like seven times so yeah spoilers that's why i have the spoiler finger up good call thank you um <clears throat> but those are my two those are two of my favorite moments from the show that still get me every time um but yeah now i'm gonna put the spoiler finger down Pam ruins her life jim's life her family's life roy's life no she does that's not true that's not true at all no one's lives were ruined though I don't think that's true at all. <clears throat> I think Pam is very human. And we're drafting, boys. We're drafting, boys. Wow, that's a really negative take on Pam. That's insane. <clears throat> I also don't think Jim is one of the shittiest people. I, I definitely disagree with both of these. I've watched the show countless times with the take that Jim is really shitty. And, like, I just not accurate. Like... Jim is constantly sacrificing and, and doing things for other people in the show. I think Jim is just an average... Jim is a regular human being uh, that's 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 just good-hearted. Uh, I really don't think Jim being interested in Pam is... Like, like there's like two there's like two moments, maybe three, that Jim has that, that, that were kind of like overtly negative. And one is like the fact that he was in love with Pam when she was with Roy. But Roy was a shitty dude, right? Like, I, I don't think Roy was actively good for Pam. And I don't think they were actively good together. I can't fault Roy for being interested in Pam. I just can't. 
and like that's it's not great but i mean i don't know people that's that's human nature right like people like people um i think i'm probably just taking thran dynamo let's try to do the blue the mono uh the mono artifacts um do you think Roy was shitter that we only saw things? No, we didn't see things from only Jim's perspective. Like Roy throws a bottle at at uh, at the bar. Like I don't think Jim is selfish at all. Jim bought the house. Like the other the, the, see, the other thing is that Jim bought the house for Pam, right? Like while he didn't tell her and he did it without asking her, he still bought it for her. He still pushed her to go to the art school. He still said, "I don't want you to come home unless you do it the right way. I want you to go." Like I mean, like it's I think like. I think Jim was unbelievably selfless when it came to Pam. The only two things Jim has against me is bought a house without asking her. But, like, he did it for her. So, it's just a gift that he didn't consult her on. <clears throat> and, like, it's also... And, and the other thing was the athlete, where he didn't tell her about the job. That was the shitty thing that he did. But also, like, he's a human character, right? People do stuff like that. Like, that happens. So, I'm not going to, like, be like, oh, man, Jim is an irredeemable character because he took a job. Like, that's that's just dumb. Right, Jim didn't get consent before my, I just said that. But, like, it was a gift, right? So, it was supposed to be like... Like, I'm not going to get consent before I buy someone a, a wedding ring either. Because it's a gift, right? And, like, you said... <clears throat> you said, uh, do you think Roy was shittier that we only saw... We didn't only see things from Jim's perspective. We saw things from Pam Pam's perspective. We saw things from Dwight's perspective when Dwight has to spray him in the face because he's about to punch Jim. Like, no, Roy is, is, an, is, a, is an objectively shitty character. And, like... He's he's made that way. Like that's how he's made. And the, Roy is so much so that he has a redemption arc where like he owns a concrete company and he be, he he made a lot of money from it and he learned how to play the piano. And that's why both like Jim and Pam when they look at him in like one of the later seasons on the show um they're like wow, this doesn't seem like the Roy we knew because Roy is portrayed as a shitty character. It's not it's not like subjective. It's kind of like, I mean, like, Roy is meant to be a an antagonist in the show. So, I mean, like, I, I think it's just, I think they're hot takes where people are like, Jim is shitty. I'm like, hey, he's just not. Like, he's portrayed as very, I'm going to take this Volcanic Island. Consecrated Sphinx Theron Dynamo of Volcanic Island is pretty good. Actually, Mox, nah, ha, we'll go Volcanic Island. I like Volcanic Island. Ooh, are we just Grixis things? Hmm. I still don't think Pam is either. I think that's a, I think that's a really silly take. What happened to the spoiler figure? Dude, like, I don't know. I mean, the original two were spoilers, but now we're just talking about it. And I feel like if you haven't seen The Office uh, when it went off the air five years ago, like, you're you're probably not interested. So, so I don't know. We didn't see any day to day. It's hard to know follow. We're not supposed to either. Like, that's not how shows work. That's not how stories work. You You have the information that you're given to go off of. That's it. You can't, like, be like, well, what if he wasn't a shitty character because we didn't know what he did? Like, you, you're you not supposed to. What they give you is what the character is. That's how stories work. Right? Like, I'm going to take Scrumland. I don't know what's going on here. <clears throat> hey, guys, we're three colors, and we found a signet. That's none of those colors. Okay. Okay. I'm Also, like, just because you have it, just because I'm talking about The Office doesn't mean, like, it won't be enjoyable to you. The office is still fantastic. Either way, I don't want to get heated about the office, but I get pretty heated about the office because I I love the office. It is my go-to comfort show. Dude, Luke, I think you're I think you're I think your dislike towards Pam is way too strong. Like, <clears throat> I think it's just like I mean, like I, I understand like I don't like I don't like Pam as a character, but like calling her morally reprehensible is just kind of ridiculous. Like, I also got way sidetracked on this draft, just to be clear. I'm going to stop talking about The Office because I get a little worked up. I'm sorry, guys. Primeval Titan? 
It's just fire ice. Could just be fire ice here. Right, like I don't think any of the characters are not flawed on purpose, right? They're all flawed on purpose. None of them are perfect characters. They all have their issues. So like being like, I don't like this character because they have issues is like, well, all right, that's that's fine. But like Ryan has issues. Uh, Kelly has issues. Meredith has issues. Kevin has issues. Oscar has issues. They all have issues. Like the whole show is about people with issues. I'm going to take Solemn Simulacrum. Scrabble God. I like Azorius Signet. Gabe is issues. Pam is the only one who looks at where she is, what she's doing, the consequences. And that's, that's not true. That's not true. She literally gave up. She sold the house in season nine so that Jim could pursue his, his dream. Like that's that's insane that you're like a dis you're gonna invalidate her entire character arc where like she literally like gives up Scranton gives up the life she wanted just to just to get just so Dr Jim can have his dream like that's crazy I feel like you're almost disregarding that just so you can have just so you can believe this like reprehensible uh, theory that you've crafted which is unfortunate. Yeah, Resto is probably the best card. Season Pyromancer is very, very good. None of these cards are good. I'll just take Duress for the sideboard. You should have shown up Frank telling you you're wrong. <laughs> I watched that. Wow. <clears throat> Oh, alright. No, well, none of these. Wish Claw Talisman. Do we even, like, is that a thing? Is that even a card? Where are my, where are my dudes at? Where are my powers at? Okay. Yeah, I'm definitely leaning towards Shinobi. Yeah, like, I mean, when you look at the other characters on that show. Like, disliking, disliking Pam when, like, Michael Scott is on the show. Angela is on the show. Ryan Howard is on the show. Like, You dislike the office as a whole? Don't say this feels weird then. Like that feels like a position like that we can't really Mystic Confluence. I like Mystic Confluence sort of in the rainforest here a lot. Tundra. Why why Oh, Coalition Relic is great. I love a Coalition Relic. Counterspell is also super nice. I'm gonna take the relic because our mana requirements look pretty rough. Could have a sweet blue black deck brewing here. Instead we have a sweet blue black red deck brewing here, so you know, that's cool too. Right, like when you're oh underground sea. Ooh, we have underground volcanic and badlands, that's pretty gas. Right, like, I don't think just because a show is about awful people, the show is unwatchable or not entertaining. Like, that's a weird, <clears throat> that's such a weird, like, qualification. Like, I need my shows to be not about awful characters. Like, not, like, bad characters, but, like, you know, morally gray or or, or darker characters. I just think, I don't think that's a... That's a weird stipulation. Like, I only watch characters, uh, shows with good characters, like, with moral characters, like... Uh, I watched The Office 
the first time I watched The Office was years and years ago. I think Verdant, Verdant gets two of our lands right now. I'll just take the Verdant Catacombs. Plus, I think like the theory of the 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 central theme of the office is that these characters aren't bad; they're just kind of dumb. Like, like Michael Scott isn't morally bad; he's just dumb. <clears throat> this is what we wanted. I like this. This is my favorite nickel bolus. I also like Arid Mesa here because we can get two of our other lands. I mean, Luke, it's fine if you think it wasn't funny. That's fine. That's crazy to me, though, because I, I actually think The Office is hilarious. Like, legit, The Office is probably one of my top three favorite shows. I think my one, two of my top favorite shows are Justified with Timothy Oliphant and Walton Goggins and The Office. Mystic Confluence, Spell Pierce, Fire Ice. Spaghetti Tudor, what seems to be a minority opinion? What am I missing there? I guess this is the only... I mean, if we get Tinker, Blightsteel Colossus is pretty sweet, but... I don't foresee us getting Tinker. Also, if, if that Bayou comes back, Ancient Grudges. I'll take the Gonti. Gonti seems pretty sweet here. Lightning Strike is just removal. It also makes our Gear Hulk better. Uh, Boyd Crowder is uh, one of the best villains in TV history. I, I love. Bo I think Boyd Crowder from Justified is one of the most complex characters. Um, in in ages like i think i, I don't know any, i don't know how to say that like but it's, it's he's one of the most complex characters written for tv i think boyd crowder is fantastic Oh, Emrakul. Keekums, McJeekums. Oh, I like Snapcaster. Sheldock Isle seems pretty good, though. Did you see the Office YouTube channel? I did. I did see that it was up there. I love that. One of the things I love is that the Office YouTube channel is still pumping out stuff like five years later. Uh, I've watched the new Battlestar Galactica, and I thought it was fantastic. I think it was a great show. I'm not sure if I loved the ending. But I still think the show as a whole was fantastic. Ha! Huh, Josh, exact. <laughs> that's fun. That's fantastic that you said the exact same thing. Um, I don't know. I kind of want to watch it again just to see if it lands with me a little more. The ending. Because the funny thing is, I just watched Once Upon a Time in Hollywood for a second time last night, and I liked it a lot more the second time I saw it. I thought it was fantastic last night, but the first time I saw it in theaters, I was like, I don't know what this, I don't know if this is any good. It's either Control Magic or Ashiok. We did not get any power in this draft, unfortunately, but. I, I picked Control Magic. I think the likelihood of, con oh, Steam Vince. Also Splinter Twin. Upheaval, we're not an upheaval deck. I think it's Steam Vents. Flooded Strand? Flooded Strand actually gets two of our lands, but I'd rather have more lands to get than more ways to get them because we already have two fetch lands. And we can get a Steam Vents with an Arid Mesa. 
Okay, here's a Pestermite. There's also a Through the Breach, and we passed an Emrakul, so we could have multiple combos. I'm going to take the Pestermite in case the uh, either Kikiji or Splinter Twin comes back, both of which we saw. I'm going to take this Languish just in case. Our mana is very good. We've been picking up a lot of solid lands for our deck. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven lands, one of which isn't fixing, but it is a shell dock, which is super nice. When we have a lot of bigger cards. Fallen Shinobi, uh, I'm not even sure we can play it because we don't. The only creatures that we have that are like Season Pyromancer and Pestermite, which is. Kind of sad because it's my favorite cards. What's your favorite Christmas movie? I want to say Die Hard. <laughs> I seriously want to say Die Hard. I think Die Hard is is great. And if I can clarify it as a as a Christmas movie, I will one hundred percent do that. Thirst for Knowledge is good. We don't have a ton of card drawing. Inferno Titan is pretty bonkers. I think it's between those two, really. I want to take the Titan, because, really... Oh, I like Vendillion click into Fallen Shinobi. That's pretty nice. Time Warp is super cool, but I think I'd rather have Vendillion click here. Oh, Coligon's Command? That's pretty nice. I'll take that as well. I'm a big Fiery Confluence fan, but... <laughs> Kiki Jiki came back. Thank you. One star peeps. Thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Welcome back. Welcome back. It is the best time of the year. Oh, boy. Boy, boy, boy. None of these cards are great. I'll take Wood... Uh, boy. Take Woodfall Primus. Whatever. I forgot to put my aligners in last night for the first time in, like, ever. Which should be fine, but it felt weird. Luke, also no hard feelings, man. I hope we're not hope we're still good after our, our intense office disagreement. Did Mike wear his CPAP last night? No, probably not. Alright, so the Splinter Twin also came back. <laughs> so now we have Kiki, Spirit Splinter Twin, and Pestermite. Oh, uh, you can't ninjutsu from the graveyard, I don't think. Eh, go for the throw, it's nice. I'd play that over the Lanos Triumph, I think. Um, Yeah, it says return an unblocked attacker you control. Put this card onto the battlefield from your hand, tapped and attacking. That would be insane. It's not, you're not casting it. You're just putting it into play. Rob's actually going to be hanging out tomorrow, so that should be cool. Bells will be ringing. Oh, what a Christmas. 
to have with you. I'll be happy. Christmas. Well, I think we can take Kiji Kiyo because we have Splinter Twin. Although Splinter Twin, yeah, I don't know. We need three cuts still. Spell Pierce we can probably cut. What movie will you just stop and watch if you're channel surfing and come across? Well, I don't have cable anymore, so I can't channel, but I know what you mean. Uh, and the movies I would always do that to were Shawshank Redemption and Forrest Gump. If Shawshank and Forrest Gump are on, I'll probably watch them every single time. Gonti, Splinter, Fire Ice is a two drop. I don't know if we're a Thran Dynamo deck. We can go turn four Thran and turn five one of these guys, but that doesn't seem great. Yeah, okay, Phil, you're actually on the same exact page with me right now. And you can go here. And I like Fallen Shinobi a lot more now that we have Vendillion Click and Pestermite, so. Shawshank Redemption is like a perfect story to me. It's actually, I'm gonna take out Liliana's Triumph. Yeah, I like this. This looks good. Land, 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 land. All of our lands are playable. That's fantastic. Okay. So blue, we have four. Arid Mesa gets, yep. Uh, so four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm okay with ten for now. Three, four, five, six, seven. Ten, seven. I don't like, I don't love seven. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so this is nine eight eight. I like that. That seems good. Three four three. Yeah, let's do that. One two three four five six seven eight nine. In black we have one two three four five six seven eight. Plus coalition relic. It is Thursday, my dudes. Nifty Chris. I love you, buddy. You're my favorite. I'll be happy for Christmas once again. Bells will be ringing. We can get Underground Sea, and then we got like perfect mana for Nicol Bolas. Oh, we can just... Oh! Pestermite into this guy, into this guy. Guys. Live in the dream. The Count of Monte Cristo. It's about a prison break. You'd like it. Well, I reckon we should file that under, edu under edu education too, huh? Bells will be ringing. We could also just draw um, Splinter Twin here, right? Beep, beep, beep. Oh, tap it. T -t 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 tap it. T -t tap it. T -t tap, tap, tap it. He's like, oh, good. They're going to, they're going to combat here. But it was not good. It was bad. It was so bad. Oh, oh for fuck's sake. Two lands. Fantastic. Of all the value that we could have amassed here.
Hey, anyone seen Knives Out yet? My wife and I are both suckers for Mystery and My. I heard good things about it. I've heard really good things about it. I am definitely looking forward to it. So we can play Nicol Bolas and kill this, or we can also fire and kill this and still keep up Pestermite. I think we just want Nicol Bolas on board. Blue. Oh, no. Oh, no. Black. Blue. Uh, your boy. It's your boy. Nicol Bolas killing Jace. Just, just like it should be. Who's Roger Craig? Just make that character up? Oh, wow. That's sad. Land? It was a land. And now we get to Inferno type? This is hype. Who the fuck's Roger Craig? <laughs> hey, is that with Roger Craig? Hey, right, control magic this guy. Oh, they're gonna Urza. Ur -ur Urza. I'll be happy a Christmas once again. Uh, yep. Okie dokie. Artichokey. Wait, don't I... Don't I get whatever they find? Oh, that's really cool that you're just gonna let me draw two. Oh, they just threw away that that mystical tutor and let us draw three? <laughs> this is where they're like, oh, I'll concede because that's embarrassing. <laughs> Called it. Called it. <laughs> oh, that's embarrassing. I kind of like duress here. I also kind of like Spell Pierce here. Uh, let's take a Lightning Strike. Actually, we can add uh, Lightning Strike in. Take out Control Magic. Take out... Maybe Doretti. That guy doesn't seem too impressive here. The old Oopsie Scoopsie. A classic. The old Oopsie Scoopsie is a classic. I will keep. happening right now main phase thirst okie dokie artichokey can we draw spell pierce or duress so that i may cast it off of my coalition relic i'm 
be happy on Christmas this year. Is that what they say? Oh, we're just going to do the same thing. We're going to kill this chase again. Oh, boy. Put a charge counter on your boy. I'll be happy. I'll quit my What do I get? One, two, three, four. We'll have six mana. So we can't go Nicol Bolas and Lightning Strike. Oh. Isn't that cute? Oh, Phyrexian Arena. So we can actually go Lightning Strike Phyrexian Arena. That seems good, too. I'll just do that. Uh, let's go to black here. Play land. Really? Tap the mana vault for this, huh? Fascinating. Quite fascinating. How's it gonna be when you don't know me anymore? Are they digging right now? Oh, they're lodestone goleming. Okay. Well, there's a lot of things. This go for the throat's looking pretty worse. I guess they can't dig when they have uh, the dig is on top of their library. Oh, okay. Well, you know, sometimes you feel like a nut. Sometimes you don't. Almond Joys have nuts. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven mana. So we can play Inferno Titan, kill the Lodestone Golem. Dig through time is a hell of a drug, though. We could also Gaunty and just. We can kill Urza and Gonti and take the the dig, right? So we can go. Oh, we need have to use this for black. I wish we. I wish we. We picked the wrong mana. One, two, three, four, five, six. Well, we'd have to. I don't think we have the mana for that anyway, right? Because no, we kill the. Hmm. Yeah, we'd have to have four, five, six, seven. We'd have to have eight mana. And we only have seven mana. So I think we just play Inferno Titan, kill the Lodestone Golem. So they get, we know they get Dig, and their Sheldock Isle is probably going to be turned on at some point here. Thank you. Hagen's forty three. Thanks so much for the reset, buddy. Welcome back. Welcome back. I appreciate you. Yep. 
Yep, this is all very good. Everything that's happening. This go for the throat's looking worse and worse, my dudes. <laughs> Urza is not an artifact creature. Believe it or not. Believe it or not, hers is not an artifact creature. I never thought I could feel so free. How do I kill this? I guess I had three black. Who's one, two, three? Believe it or not, nickel boulders, nickel bees. Better dig. Hmm. Now they're gonna dig. They're gonna be like dig 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 dig. That's fine. I accept your digging. And we're gonna lose Nicol Bolas, but whatever. Dig through time makes me doo doo. What does that mean? I think for 2020, you should try to swap out some of your signatures for instead of saying dig through time is a hell of a drug, you could say dig through time is a doozy of a toozy or something. <laughs> oh, Jesus. I feel like you're right. I feel like that's what I really need. Stroking! I agree. We should probably say stroking more. Stroking to the east. They're just going to die to their own. See, they're taking one from their mana vault. We're taking one for our arena, but we get to draw a card. It's just better value. Going face, going Nick Bolas. Sounds good. All right, well. Batter skull. B -b 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 Colgon's command one time. Just do it. Just give it to me. Give it to me. <laughs> I don't know, man. Universe is still a simulation. 
I also want a swamp. That's not a swamp, but I, I accept it. We already got one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven mana. So we can do this, kill this, attack you for like a bajillion magillion. Make you discard your last card. Um, actually, we can go kill you, kill you. Six, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five, bounce, bounce. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, we just win, right? Seven, eight, nine. I know we can put them in a one. Ugh. Dang it. One, two, three. Actually, what if we go, okay, one, two, three, two damage to their face, one, two, kill their blocker, and then we have six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so that, that'll do it, right? So, dis destroy an artifact, deal you two. Okay, we had, we, had to, we had to find the line. We found it. Had to get that 12 damage in there. Oh boy, we're gonna, we're gonna good jobby. That's how you do it. That's how you do it, guys. Cheese is good. Man, you ain't kidding, dude. Inferno Titan's a hell of a drug. Inferno Titan! <laughs> I'm gonna go make some eggs with cheese. Yeah, I'll keep this hand. Let's steal their guy and then bounce it the next turn. Inferno Titan really gets me stroking. Just trying out some new material here. Oh boy. Oh boy. Stroke into the east. A stroke into the west. <laughs> I'll tumble for you. What's hold up? Come on, Jenga. All right, we did it. Oh, I like a scarab god under there. That's a gem. That's a real tasty treat. Wish we had some signets. I'll take a coalition relic though. I accept the Badlands. Was I out of my head? Was I out of my mind? How could I have ever been so blind? I was waiting for an indication. It was hard to find. Do you think Inferno Titan celebrates Chicken Sunday? You know, he probably doesn't. It's typical. Typical Inferno Titan propaganda. Oh, Incubation Druid? 
Well, I'll be. I kind of like just pester miting this and then attacking next turn. That seems better than like control magicking their guy. I'll tap it in response, because that's what we do. That's kind of what I was hoping they would do. Uh, no, let's not untap. Because now they have like no mana. We can actually control magic this, which gives us a lot of mana. I'm much more inclined to control magic it now. I think it's better to take one turn off of Fallen Shinobi. Oh boy, here I go stealing again. Are they gonna acidic slime this guy? Golos. I don't give a sh I don't give a shit about Golos. Oh boy, here I go still. <laughs> That's old Crumbopulous Michael. One, two, three. Oh wow, this guy taps for a million too. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. No matter what I say, no matter what I do, never mean to do bad things to you. So tired and I bounce this guy, yeah. Gonna do this thing. Gonna exile too. Hope they get real good. Oh, fuck! <laughs> it's your boy. Ah! <laughs> We had a good time. Oh, Jesus. Fallen Shinobi, ladies and gentlemen. Fallen Shinobi. Was that Ulamog? Get out of here. I'll take that Ulamog. Languish could be good. We only saw Incubation Druid. Really. Oh man. Oh man. That's that was that was special. I kinda do like languish here. It doesn't kill Golos, it doesn't kill Incubation Druid if it's I think we just submit. I think our deck is good. We already have Mizium Mortars. I don't know, man. I will keep this hand. We got Knight's Whisper. And I go for the throat. Let's go get uh, steam vents here. Because it gets us that blue that we need. Well, that is unfortunate. Let's get a good old fashioned steamy boy. going to pass here. No matter what I say, don't be a planeswalker. Why are you a planeswalker? That's pretty good. Play Fuck. 
Just gonna play a bunch of things that I have no answers for. What an absolute monster. That's my Sylvan Arena. Sylvan Library. Sylvan Arena. <laughs> As a Grixis deck, enchantments are not my specialty, guys. Solid. A solid strategy. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven mana, huh? M -m -m My Sharona. Oh, they didn't do anything with their mana. That fascinates me. Ch -ch -ch Charge and counter. Do -do 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 -do. Do do do. C -c -c Control magic. That's not great yet. Okay, what's our plan this turn? One, two, three, four. We're going to have five mana. I think we just go. I really want to kill the Garrick, but we can't kill the Garrick and the Beast this turn. I feel like it's just Arena. Nikki B seems terrible. Like they have Garrick, they have a beast, and they have a raging ravine. Bolus doesn't do anything. We play Bolus, we what we kill a Garrick, and then then they kill Nickel Bolus. Like it's just a one for one. I'd rather just arena and keep go for the third up. Both make a beast still dies to Raging Ravine Beast. Untap two lands is good. I do like that. This is actually pretty okay for us. Sure. Four. Interesting. Well, we'll let them attack with this. That is tapped. My, 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 my Sharona. Can I control magic this Garrett? Can we do that? Three, four. So 
we're gonna have six mana next turn, which is great because it lets us cast anything in the deck. I wouldn't mind an Inferno Titan at this juncture. That's a Den Protector, I'm sure. Oh, but you can't flip it. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Okay. Well, untap land would have been nice. Can we go Garrick, Fire, Ice? This? Meh. We can also steal the morph, <laughs> which is pretty comical. What if we kill Garrick, steal morph? That seems good. Because then we can flip it, thanks to Coalition Relic, which is pretty sweet. Get back, go for the throat. Um. So yeah, let's get a blue here. Two, three, four. Oh, Inferno Titan? Hmm. Yeah, Inferno Titan's easily the best there. So we're going to take six here. And they do have access to seven mana. Eight mana. So if they just find Crater Hoof, they kill us. At least I assume they do. <laughs> Nine plus seven plus seven. Ulamog. It's pretty good. Five, six, seven, eight. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Tooth and nail entwined. Ulamog. Kill the control magic? Okay. And they're at five. We can still pester might tap down Ulamog. It's not terrible. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, we can actually Gearhulk tap down the Ulamog. That seems pretty good too. Next turn, Knight's Whisper lets us kill them, actually. Hmm. So we can, like, Torrential Gear Hulk do this. No, we, Knight's Whisper lets us kill them because it puts us down to 20 cards. We can activate Shell Dock Isle. Sorry, I didn't... I, I, I shortcutted there. Because we'll draw one for the turn. We'll go down to 20. 22, Knight's Whisper puts down to 20. Then we can put them to 3, and Pestermite can put them to 2 if we're able to cast Pestermite. Um, Torrential Gear Help tap this guy, block here. We take 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Alternatively, we can Mizium Mortars here. Pester might here still take the same six. That seems better. Oh, uh, we definitely don't have to jump with Pester might. We can just take six. It's better to do this. It's better to do this guy, right? They're both going to be three power. But. Getting this off the board is fine. Like, we're going to get Chandler and Garrick. Both of those are fine. All right, we don't have to trade either. We're tapping down the, the, the guy, and we take six, right? So we go to two. Oh, Knight's Whisper would kill us then. Um, it's 
Still puts him to three. Got my Garrick. Okay. I mean, the alternative is like we still can't like. Well, we couldn't block the three two anyway. It can't be blocked by creatures with power less than it, so that would never we'd never be able to trade with that. It's just not a thing. Yeah, Arena puts us to one. I don't know what you're saying right now. I mean, it'll get us in the long run, sure. <laughs> Tap that dude. So if we block here, we can Knight's Whisper, go to one, Arena puts us to one. We're going to have 22 cards. There are 25 cards. This is tricky. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, one, two, three, four, five. If we hit a land, actually, we do chump block here because then we can Torrential Gerhulk Fire Ice. And we can also Inferno Titan. No, that we're never going to have the mana for that. Shit. Wait, this is going to be... So this is one, two. We're pretty much with 21 cards. All we have to do is draw one card. Is Lightning Strike in the deck? God, we're one point away. It's so funny. One. We can't Knight's Whisper. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. If we have eight mana, we can Gear Hulk and... Sheldock Isle. Yeah, I think we risk it for the biscuit here, guys. We'd have to hit one land in the next two cards. Okay. It's fine. Five. Garrick. Also fine. One land, next two cards. Also, lightning strike. Charge. Charge it up. Go to one. Land. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Six for this. We'll tap a thing. We go to 20 cards. Uh, we just need blue, 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 blue. Yes, so let's add a blue. Because all the things we're casting are blue. Play the blue. Go blue. One, two, three, four, five, six. Torrential Gear Hulk. Grab. Fire Ice. Okay. Uh, cast Ice. Tap down this. Sure, add your mana. Go to combat. I feel like these have been some extremely well navigated games. Whoa! <laughs> I don't care about your Ulamog, my dude. Four zero with this deck. That's pretty good.
Man, dude, that was insane. Uh, I'll keep it. Any red source we get to play to ready into control magic. I agree. That's why cube is the greatest format of magic. I agree with that completely. Because you're, you're, there is so much more room to outplay people. You do have blowouts, but those are also super cool. Like, if they just go, like, turn two, channel, emrakul, like, I'm like, okay, wow, that sucks, but that's amazing. Like, that's super cool. You know, so... It's just, you take the good to the bad, and, like... But the good, when you have the option to out to, to, to think of all those lines, you're like, I can go to one life, I can deal two damage in the air with this guy, you know, and it's like, you have so many lines that are just, like... Well, that is not. But they didn't do anything, so whatever, I guess. The facts are life. The facts are life. Na -na -na -ba -da -da -da. Remember that time I was like, sometimes you just get turned to Channel Emrakuld. Well, there you go. 12 mana. There you go. Hydroid Crassus for 10. Ha <laughs> ha. I mean, we could take 10 here and then just steal this thing, I guess. We could also draw a go for the throat. That's a good one. Now we drew a, an Inferno Titan instead. All right, we're doing it. So they're gonna draw ooze. Not the right ooze though. You've got the right ooze, baby. Really got going on. All right, well, now it's our 10-10, and you're at 15. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> Tristani on the top, dude. Oh, boy. Welp. That's cool. That's a thing. Oh, Gonti. Oh, Gonti. Well, I definitely don't want to take it because then we still don't get to play it because then they still get their creature back and they get the Tristani back. So we'll probably just, you know, put it on the bottom. Can you imagine we steal their Tristani then we play the Tristani they get back their 10-10 and their Tristani? That would be cool. But it was not cool.
Why would I take it and not play? Why don't I just take a card I will play and then the Tristani can go on the bottom where it belongs? That seems more reasonable. Sony D, it'll burn you through. So if we block here, we take three, four, five, six. We actually can't even attack here, unfortunately. Natural Order and Simic Signet are the other options. Jeez. Well, Natural Order. We can actually sack their Crassus to search for, well, nothing. So I guess we'll take this guy. Oh, good. They get a sort of Fire and Ice as the next card. I guess that's fine. If we attack, we block here, we take three, four, five, six, right? We just die. So unfortunately, despite having a 15, a 10, 10 on board, we can't actually do anything with it. Facts of life. Was luck on top. Garrick comes down, kills this guy, and then we're still dead. Seems good. Oh, look, they saw the line. Apparently taking 10 damage really uh, really affected us there. Definitely bringing in Languish here. Take out Season Pyromancer, I don't care about you. Talk about it, talk about it, talk about it, talk about it. Okay, I'll keep it. <sighs> I'm on board. Turn two Whisper, turn three Doretti. Turn four Nikki B. I'd like to kill that. Can we kill that instead? No. The answer is no. Okay, so what are we getting here? Badlands or Underground? And we're getting both with the duels. We'll get Badlands here. Next turn we can Doretti make a little gentleman. Come on, let me languish. Papa needs a languish. Daddy needs a languish. 
I just want to send these creatures to their death. Four? Four mana. Natural order. Yeah, Duretti's making the wrong constructs, but they don't care. Yep, they just went on turn three. Eight, nine, ten, so three. This is only 16 damage. <laughs> I guess I'll go to one. Pfft, can't beat me, buddy. Oh, shoot. Oh, dang. Is this real? <laughs> Is this really happening? Do we get to survive at one? Can't play this, unfortunately. Oh, I guess we could have just played Fallen Shinobi. That would have been real good. Dang. What's better here, Torrential or Solemn or Lightning Strike? I think Torrential is probably the pick here. If we played, if we played Fallen Shinobi this turn, though, we wouldn't be able to play um, Inferno Titan next turn. That might be more relevant. Oh man! This is insane. Can you imagine if they just crater hooked us to one life and then we just win the game after that? I don't even want to play Verdant Catacomb, but maybe, because if we gain life somehow. You know what? Oh, we played a land this turn. Never mind. I'm an idiot. Oh my god. Five, six mana. Here we go. Something big. Oh, for fuck's sake. Come on. Cool. Thanks for watching, guys. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. I'll see you next time when I don't feel so dead inside. <laughs>